Hey guys, Grunt Reviews here today, coming uh, to you with a new review on something a little bit different. We're covering a uh, holster today. This is the Safari Land 015 Open Top Race Gun Holster. Guys, go down below, click the like button, click the subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and let's get into it. So, this is the latest generation of Safari Land uh, open top race gun holsters uh, for competitive shooting. Um, and it does come uh, versus the older generation with a, a few nice little upgrades. So, um, all aluminum body does have a, a locking system here. Um, it is fully adjustable. Um, you can actually go height, can't tilt um, and this is actually a ball mount so if you want to adjust forward backward left and right gives you a tremendous amount of uh, of adjustability there and what's real nice it actually has a double locking system so it fits any 2011 style gun uh, with with the square type trigger guard and it actually has a primary lock so when you first put this in here it locks in you actually have to pick it up just a little bit to be able to get it out of the holster and on the back side here it also has a thumb lock very easy to engage with the thumb that then fully locks it from moving in and out what I really like about this is even if you want to leave it locked as you're getting your good firing grip it does unlock that lock so you don't have to swing it all the way up um, so if you are shooting something like a, a uspsa match um, when they tell you to load and make ready you're actually able to leave that lock off and even if you are walking around jumping moving up and down it will stay in there until you set it out and then once you leave your stage um, you are then able to lock it in and do whatever uh, do whatever you wish um, I've never used it but it does actually have a takedown system to it you can pull this out hit a pin and then you're able to slide um, as you can see here the Safari Land portion you're able to slide the holster uh, off your belt and still retain uh, retain the original mounting spot on uh, on your shooter's belt um, this particular one I use the uh, Ronin tactics I believe this is my task force belt um, but if you're traveling or you're flying to an event or something like that and you're trying to get everything in your suitcase makes it uh, makes it a little bit easier to have that takedown on the back side here as you can see um, it'll mount to pretty much any standard uh, competition belt or even uh, even any standard um, battle belt if you will operators belt whatever your preferred term for it is a um, couple of couple of allen keys on either side clamps right onto it they do give you a nice little uh, nice little hip pad there and then you can also see uh, our adjustments uh, both uh, both for the cant and the tilt to clamp that ball mount down um, those are of course removable and that's how you get to your height adjustments and cant adjustments for the holster as well um, let me give you a quick run on the range show you how it looks all right so this will be a little bit hard to see but wanted to show it to you at the range so the lock mechanism when it's in the down position it is not going anywhere you get a little bit of movement but it is locked in there the nice thing is if you want to draw from the locked position you can engage it as you're getting your grip and it does unlock um, the other nice part about this is if we leave the lock disengaged even if we were to move jump all of that you still have to pick it up about a half an inch i believe to be able to pull it out and it does still allow a nice quick speed draw with the lock on and without the lock on. 
Um, fantastic holster. Let's get some shots in here real quick. We'll do uh, five locked, five unlocked. So we're locked. Go. All right. And let's try it unlocked. So I can still move around, walk around. So this would be as you're on the stage, they've already given you the load and make ready. And five shots, nice and easy, nice and simple. Just wanted to show you in action on the range. I've been using this for um, about a, eh, a little over a full season now. Um, got this at the very beginning of the year, uh, 2020. So I've had it for a full year now. Um, absolutely um, love this thing. Um, works fantastic, looks great. As we all know in the race gun world, looks make you a better shooter um but no uh, no issues here the downside uh safari land i think they're asking 223 dollars uh msrp for this they are available in a right hand or left hand configuration blue red and black are the three colors available and then they now do have a uh, muzzle adapter that uh that does go down below that you can add to it um guys race gun gear is is not cheap um safari land has a fantastic name uh for quality holsters and quality gear um i highly recommend this if you have the money you're getting into uspsa um, this is a fantastic uh investment to add to your kit guys appreciate you watching and as always stay safe train hard